Hello, my friends. This is Christy here, and I am actually going to show you how you can go ahead and create a free PDF for you to download and use for your business. Now, I'm not going to get into a lot of marketing strategies, but the bottom line is that there are a lot of people that want to use their book as a way to build their list and a way to get people to opt in, and then that way there's the possibility of having them become clients in other ways, and that is really a great way to uh, make money. I mean, it's a really great way to leverage your book. The only problem is when you're in a co-author book, you can't give away the whole book for free because there are other women's stories in this book that are not necessarily yours to give away. So what I'm going to do is show you how to strip out their stories so then you're left with a book that you can go ahead and do whatever you want with. So let me go ahead and let's go ahead and change the screen here. And I am going to go to the actual book itself. And I actually just saved it. Um, the last book that we did, which was our Victorious Women Edition book. And I am going to show you how to do this with Adobe Acrobat Pro. Now, Adobe is honestly the premier and the main PDF tool out there. Um, a lot of people have it, but there are some people that don't. I don't want you to buy it because it can be very expensive to have the version that actually, actually allows you to edit but I'm going to still show you how to do this. And then when the training is done, I'm going to show you a free tool that you can go ahead and still use. I would assume basically the same way. Um, but here you go. Here's the book. It's got the cover. Uh, it's got all these basically great things in it. You know, you have the book, um, but what we want to do is strip away the stuff that you don't want um, or that you, that we don't want to keep in there. So it's up to you. You can go ahead and get rid of, um, the front matter, uh, you know, you can do whatever you want to completely customize this. But the one thing I do want you to remove is this copyright page, um, just because this is the copyright for the whole book and it does have an ISBN and there's data in here that you don't necessarily want to have in your free book. So I'm going to go ahead and click tools in the right hand corner up here and I'm going to click delete. And it's just basically saying, do you want to delete this page, which is Roman numeral seven um, out of all of the pages. There's 237 pages here. So let's go ahead and delete this page. Yes, now it's gone. So now it's not there. now we've got the dedication, a little bit about story, a quote about story, uh, the introduction. And then the next thing is our table of contents. And we definitely want to, delete this. So delete. Now the challenge could be is the page numbers are not necessarily the correct one. So you'll see kind of as we go along. Now right now it's saying we're going to delete this page because this is the page that's showing on the screen. So it knows the page that we want to delete. But we're going to delete two of them because there's two pages on the table of contents. So we're going to click the second page, click delete. And yes, so now we've got the book series and it goes right into the first person story. So this is Jeannie. Now Jeannie's story starts on page one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But we're gonna go through them all. Now the reason why I want you to keep the page big because sometimes you think you know the page you're deleting and you're, you don't and doesn't necessarily allow you to go back. So what we wanna do is we're gonna delete the first two stories and we're gonna pretend like this book is for Valerie and we're gonna go ahead and keep her, her story intact. So her story starts on page 29, but we wanna delete page 28. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and save this because if it doesn't work, I wanna be able to go back in here um, and pick up where we left off. So let's go ahead and delete. And we're gonna delete page one through 28. Let's see what happens. So it's the end of the introduction, perfect. The beginning of Valerie's story. So it goes through her story. And then it goes to her bio. And then we start in Natalia. 
So now we know we're on page 15. So we want to start deleting at page 15. So let's go to the very end and see where we want to end. Now we want to keep the back cover. Um, you probably don't want to keep this unless you think you can get referrals to get your $100 credit. But let's go ahead and delete up to page, this is 190. See so the challenging is, part is up in the top hand corner, it says we have 206 pages because it's including the Roman numeral pages. So what we wanna do is we wanna delete to page 190 so we keep this back cover intact and we wanna start deleting at, didn't write it down, oops, sorry. Um, where does Valerie's end? Where are you, Valerie? There you go. So we're gonna delete from page 15 to 190. So page 15, 190, click delete. Perfect, takes a little moment. Now we have a 30 page document that has a little bit of everything. It's got a little bit of testimonials, which validates how great this book is and your story. You can delete them if you want. Um, overcoming mediocrity. I, you know what? You probably don't even want to have some of these pages, but honestly, really, it's up to you what you want to do. Um, I, I think some of these are good. Maybe the introduction's not necessarily something you want to have. Um, so let's do this. Let's, because that's really my take on it. So, so you can see here, this is actually Roman numeral 10, 11, 12, 13. So let's delete Roman numeral 10 to 13. And so we've got the quote, our book series. So basically it talks about the series and then it's got Valerie's story and then it ends with her bio and then the back cover. So very simple. Um, let's go ahead and save it, a PDF. So OM7 Valerie. All right, so now this is resaved with her name and now she can go ahead and use this and you can do the same thing for yours. And then I want to show you a tool um, that you can use to go ahead and do the same thing. Where did I do, what did I do with that? Okay, so it's called here. It's called PDF Escape. So I will post that link um, in the, the, the data below, in the, the video data. Um, and you can do this for a PC or Windows. It looks like actually, let's see, pdfescape.com. Yep, for Windows. And then yeah, you just do the free online and it lets you edit the PDF file. So you should be able to go ahead and delete whatever pages you want and pretty much do the same thing without spending hundreds of dollars for Acrobat Pro. So let's see, Acrobat Pro. Yeah, I mean, if you wanna do it free for seven days and then cancel it, you can. Um, but if, if not, if you don't cancel it, it's very expensive. Let's see, Acrobat Pro. Yeah, you're gonna be paying, um, you know, $15 a month, you don't need to do that for this. But anyways, hopefully this helps and you are able to figure this out easily. So that way you can go ahead and use your chapter as a tool or resource for you to be able to get people to opt into your list. So thank you so much and I will see you soon.